Okay, so some of y'all have emailed me, I've gotten some texts, so we need to clear the air. All right, there's absolutely no truth to the rumor that I was detained on Saturday for trying to switch Ugga with another dog. All right, I was just wondering out loud what my life would be like with Ugga in it and where he would sleep and what movies we would watch. And I was asked to put the dog down and leave. Nothing weird about that. So. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Jerry Tanner Show, brought to you by the UGA Alumni Association. Our Bulldogs improved to 2-0 on Saturday. We did not lose anybody to injury, and I managed to avoid heat stroke. All in all, a banner day. It feels weird to call a 46-point win unspectacular, but here we are. It was a decent game, highlighted by a few exciting moments, particularly from a few of our freshmen, George Pickens, I love you, but with just enough going wrong to remind you that, yes, this is a Georgia game. All things considered, a pretty satisfying Saturday. But now the time has come. It's history in the making as Notre Dame takes on Georgia. No, wait. Sorry, there's one more. I, I keep forgetting there's one more. Um, who? Arkansas somebody, Arkansas, Arkansas State. That's it, Arkansas State, those, those guys. Those sweet little guys, they're little scamps. Update your info, everybody. Now I know you're out there moving and grooving, getting it done, and representing the University of Georgia, and the Alumni Association wants to hear all about it. Now these alumni folks love to crow about Georgia grads who are out there doing their thing, and they love to let you know what's going on in your area and in the larger Bulldog world. Go to alumni.uga.edu slash update and let them know what you're up to. All right, let's jump back in. We're stepping it up a little this week as we move from FCS opponent to FBS opponent. Arkansas State is part of the Sun Belt Conference, which is the same conference as Georgia Southern and Georgia State. And they are a powerhouse in that conference. They've never finished a season with more than two conference losses, and they've won five of the last eight Sun Belt Conference titles. They're also something of an incubator for coaching talent. In the last few years, the Red Wolves have been coached by Brian Harson, Boise State's head coach, Hugh Freeze, former head coach at Ole Miss, and Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn. I think we can expect to see basically the same thing we saw this past week. The starters play into the second quarter, and then the second and third string come in. As we saw against Murray State, our young players have incredible potential, but they need more reps. So this is a chance for guys like George Pickens, Nolan Smith, Nicobe Dean to get ready. Not just for Notre Dame, but for the SEC gauntlet that comes after. I'll say this one finishes 38-10 Georgia. We got a noon kick, drink lots of water, uh, put on some sunscreen, don't get too wild at the tailgate. And uh, no matter how adorable it is, do not try to walk off with your football team's mascot because that is frowned upon. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell and you'll never miss an episode. 